our endless summer soiree on the bay. So it's our annual fundraising um, event. It is the first time that I'm leading this effort at the Health and Welfare Council, so I'm excited. The room is beautiful, we're on the water. We are honoring individuals and organizations that have prioritized social equity. We talk about social justice, but social equity is important. So we are honoring the Albanese organization and CDLI. This recognition is a reminder that the work we do has a ripple effect, touching lives in ways that extend far beyond the buildings we create. I'm just the one person of many that makes Long Islanders' lives better. We feel honored <laughs> in just in that alone. We, along with our team members, assist over 25,000 individuals every year. And this year, we invested $156 million into the Long Island community. It's so critical with an organization like Health and Welfare Council of Long Island and CDLI that we work together to continue to break down some of these barriers because there are opportunities. We can do better. We can continue to grow the middle class in a public-private partnership way that focuses on inclusion rather than exclusion. The issues that are the hardest are the most challenging in terms of suburban poverty is our lack of public transportation. If you don't have a car, you have to go from, from agency to agency to agency to access those services. So that's actually why we launched the Health Equity Alliance of Long Island, Healy, which is a network of nonprofit organizations, community-based organizations that are working together using Unite Us, a referral platform where a, where a family can come to one organization, have their information put into the system, and then a referral is sent and received and captured. And uh, the the Health and Welfare Council of Long Island has just been named the lead entity for Healy, the social care network for Long Island. Equity means no matter your race, your income, your religion, no matter where you're from, you get high quality health care with dignity and respect, and your income doesn't match what kind of care you get. And your zip code shouldn't dictate whether you live longer or not. If we address the underlying social conditions, we can really pr improve health outcomes, and we can really increase the wellness of so many people in the county. So it's a very exciting time, and I'm delighted to be here tonight. Yeah.